How to use Phoebing's Leather Dye This is a demonstration for the proper application of Phoebing's Leather Dye, which produces a range of color from faint when diluted to rich with each pure coat. It is ideal for plain or tooled or natural leather. Be sure to use Phoebing's deglazer on finished leather and allow it to be completely dry before applying color dye. For this demo, we used a smooth piece of natural leather and a figure carved picture. We will demonstrate how to properly use Phoebing's leather dye using three different applications by spray, wool dauber, and by brush. For all three applications, we made sure the leather was clean and dry. First, we will demonstrate applying the leather dye using a preval sprayer, which is a compressed air canister that can be screwed directly onto a 4 ounce Phoebing leather dye bottle or storage bottle. When spraying leather dye, be sure to do so in a well ventilated area and use a background shield to catch overspray to keep your workspace clean. It really helps to put the leather on a backboard held by pins, but it's not mandatory. The key to smooth, even coat of dye on a piece of leather is to hold the spray bottle 8 to 12 inches from the surface and start spraying off the side of the leather in a straight line until you pass off the opposite side. Go back and forth with overlapping rows until the entire surface is coated. Then quarter turn the leather piece and repeat until you feel it is a smooth, even coat and coloration. For best results, move the leather to lay flat to dry in a dust-free, dry environment before applying any other products. Our second demonstration is applying leather dye using a wool dauber, which comes with each 4-ounce bottle of Phoebing's leather dye and can also be purchased separately. Using a wool dauber for small projects works well. Dip the dauber in the dye and then dab it on a piece of paper towel to ensure it does not drip onto the leather. Apply the dye in a circular motion overlapping previous strokes. Quarter turn and repeat. Keep turning and dyeing until there is even coverage. Once the leather has completely dried, use a piece of sheep wool or clean soft cotton cloth or t-shirt material to buff the surface of the leather to remove any excess pigment on the surface which creates a clean smooth sheen ideal for one of Phoebing's top coats like tan coat, bag coat or resoline. For our third application demonstration, we will quickly show you how to apply Phoebing's leather dye to create a uniform color on a large piece of leather using a large saddle, horse or boot brush. The leather will be very wet with dye from this process. If you want, you can apply a second coat once the first coat is totally dry. It would take about an hour or so. To clean the brush, you just soak up the excess dye on a paper towel, then put your brush in a sealed plastic bag for future use. You can pour leftover dye from your bowl back into your container and then clean your bowl with a little alcohol. The process is fairly quick and highly effective for large pieces of leather. Now we will demonstrate how to paint with dye using a small brush. Use an appropriately sized brush for detail work. We recommend using quality brushes for best results. Use a separate brush for each color group. Transfer dye from the bottle to a palette with an eyedropper or straw. Using Phoebe's dye reducer to create your desired types of color hues for each color. The more dye reducer you use, the lighter the color hue becomes. The darkest hue will be the pure dye without any reducer in it. To see what each color hue will look like, test them on a piece of scrap leather from the same leather used in your carved artwork. Then dab the brush on paper towel to prevent overloading the brush and stop drips accidentally falling on your leather. Remember, if you have a heavily loaded brush, the dye may bleed farther on the leather. So be mindful of the amount of dye loaded into your brush when you are working. Always start dyeing in the center of your chosen area 
and work up to the edges. Begin with the lightest hue and then build up using darker hues in areas you want the color to be deep and rich. This is very similar to doing watercolor painting. When you are finished your piece of art, let it dry completely. You can then clean it gently with a clean soft cloth and apply a final finish like Phoebe's Leather Sheen, Bag Coat, or Neutral Resoline. That is how you properly use the very versatile Phoebe's Leather Dye.